and the blood of Jesus flowed out. It flowed out for you. It flowed out for me and for all mankind. I love to talk about the blood of Jesus and because it is powerful in our lives. If we activate the blood of Jesus in our lives, then we will be overcomers. That's what it says in Revelations, that I overcome and you overcome by the blood of the Lamb. That's the very first thing that we have to recognize is that we were bought with a price. That's what it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, that we were bought with a price and it was the precious blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You know, and it says here in Luke uh, chapter 22 that even the blood began to flow as he prayed for you and I in the Garden of Gethsemane. In Luke 22, uh, verse 44, and being in anguish or being in, in, in travail, and those of us that are intercessors, we are familiar with that term, travail. We begin to moan in the spirit. We begin to uh, cry out in, in the spirit realm. And Jesus said here, it says in the New International, that he would, being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly and fervently, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. You know, back in Genesis, it says that when Cain murdered Abel, Abel was the, the righteous one. His sacrifice was accepted by, by the Father, and his blood cried out from the ground. And Jesus' blood began to cry out. It began to flow out. You know, in the, the, what I want you to receive today from this, from this message is that we can activate the blood of Jesus even now. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, and we love not our lives unto the death. That means that we have surrendered all to Jesus. And I want to ask you this, this day, have you surrendered all to Jesus? Have you surrendered your own life? Have you surrendered your marriage? Have you surrendered your children, your finances, the ministry that God has given you? Have you surrendered everything to Jesus Christ? We were bought with a price. And, and it says here that in Hebrews 9.14 that his blood cleanses our thinking. That's one of the ways that we can activate the blood of Jesus is by seeing that the blood ran down. When they put that crown of thorns upon his head, it ran down uh, upon his head and upon his thinking. And that's what his blood does. It clears up our thinking so that we can think and have the mind of Jesus Christ. And that's so important in this day and time to know what does the Lord think? Not our thoughts, but His thoughts. They become real to us. And the blood being activated in our lives, we have salvation, yes. And those of you that are already, uh, you've already uh, confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are saved. And it's very simplistic in, and salvation is simple. All we have to do is say, yes, Jesus, I believe that you're the Son of God, that you died for me on the cross, that you rose again, and that you're in my heart. That is, is, is a very simple confession to make. And the Holy Spirit comes in, and the Father comes in, and Jesus comes in, the Son of God comes in, and, and we are saved. We have eternal life, John 3, 16. For whosoever believeth in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It says, for God so loved the world that he sent Jesus. His blood can be activated today. Do you need salvation from poverty? Do you need salvation from sickness and disease? All you have to do is activate the blood of Jesus you know, you can activate the blood of Jesus for healing in your body. You can activate the blood of Jesus for uh, relationships to be restored. You can activate the blood of Jesus in your life and appropriate it because we have a blood covenant with Jesus Christ. 
You know, the Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning and he said, tell the people, number one, to believe it. Believe what the word of God says about the blood. Number two, say or confess what the word of God says about the blood. And then the third thing that we need to do is that we need to act on it. So first we believe it, then we say it, and then we act on it. The blood of Jesus is powerful. We sing that song, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. You know, we sing that, but do we know the real importance and the significance of the blood of Jesus being shed for us? You know, that spear that went into his side and blood and water came out. He made an entrance into the Holy of Holies for us that we can enter in to the throne room of God, that we do not have to have a, a, a mediator. We do not have to have someone that goes in there before us, but we can go in boldly uh, to the throne of God and we can, we can fellowship with the Father and we can talk with the Father and He can talk to us. Access. You know, the stripes upon His back were for our healing. 1 Peter 2.24 says, By His stripes... We were healed. And in, in Isaiah 53, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, and by his stripes we are healed. That blood gushed out of his back. That blood gushed out of his side. That blood gushed out uh, from, from the thorns in that, in that crown that they put upon his head. He, he shed blood as he began to pray for you and I in the Garden of Gethsemane. And now he is our mercy seat. He went and he deposited his blood upon the mercy seat in the Holy of Holies. And now he has become our mercy. Can you shout hallelujah? Because Jesus Christ is alive today. And I am a bloody person. Just like Moses' wife said to him, you are a bloody person because of the circumcision. But let me tell you something. I have been circumcised. I am, I am a Christian. I am a believer. And I, I say it, I believe it, and I act upon it. And I activate the blood of Jesus. And you can do it too. Begin to do that today. Thank you for viewing. She